Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be recreating Lauren Hill's um, basic look. And right now I'm just color correcting my face. I'm going to put this color corrector by LA Girl Pro in all the dark areas of my face, which is mostly around my eyes and some parts of my um, cheeks and then around my um, lips and then a little bit on my forehead. And after doing that, I'm going to add the concealer on top of my eyelid as well. This color concealer is a different color and I use it on top of my eyelid as an eyeshadow base and then I add the setting powder so that way the eyeshadow base that I just put on my eyelid is set. I'm going to use this um, basic palette that I got from Walgreens. It's uh, I think the Maybelline Nude palette so because the eye look that I'm doing is very neutral. It's only like basically like two colors. It's just the darkest brown and then a little bit of the gold on top of my eyelid. So that's what I am doing here and I just kept on like packing it on. I'm not really skilled at the whole eyeshadow and it took a long time for me to get it to actually show up because it's not very you know pigmented but it worked for this look. After I am adding my foundation and I'm using the NARS foundation and I'm putting it all over my face and blending it in with a brush and I also don't forget to put some of the foundation on your neck so it can match your whole body. And after I put all the foundation on my face I'm going to get ready to highlight my face as well. And um, when I highlight my face, I like to use different concealers depending on like what I have close to me. Um, today I use the NARS concealer as well as the Maybelline concealer. And um, I put this under my eyes, on top of my nose, and um, on my chin just to highlight my face and make my face look brighter. And um, after I apply this concealer, I later take the setting powder. And the setting powder I use is the Laura Mercier um, setting powder. And I put it under all the places that I put the concealer. And then I go back and add more to the eyeshadow. I have to keep on adding to the eyeshadow. For some reason, I didn't think it was showing up very well. So I kept on adding to the eyeshadow to make it look more like the look I was trying to accomplish. Then after doing that, I add in my contour, which is just this dark brown color from this palette that I got from my beauty supply store. It's called Duo. It's a very like like $3 palette, nothing serious. After that, I add a lip liner around my lips so I can get the chocolate brown color that she always wears on her lips and her old pictures when she was younger. I'm using a younger picture of her as a reference. So the color that I'm using for my lips was um, Photo by MAC, but you can also use Antique Velvet, which is a darker brown. The color I have on is Photo, and it's a, like more of a nude color for women of color, and I really like it because it's a soft brown. And in here, I'm just showing you a close-up of the hair and how I blended it. I have some of my hair out, and of course, I have on the Tatiana wig for this look because it resembles her dreadlocks and this is the finished look and yeah that's pretty much it for this look i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i had fun recreating this look